For the past uh, two years, <coughs> I've uh, started giving courses called Music of the 60s, Evolution of the Revolution. Uh, the course in itself is a bit of a revolution because I come in the first day, I put instruments at the front of the class, drums, keyboard, guitar, and ask who among the students are musicians. And very often I'm able to put together a band, singers, bass players, guitar, keyboard, <laughs> sometimes even horn players, um, as part of the course. And then, of course, when we study the song, sometimes the band will come up and perform. And then, of course, we can also have a party at the end of the course. Um, I've given the course now eight times. And it's morphed into something that's very academic, but at the same time, a lot of fun. So, in the course, we ask two basic questions. Uh, was there a revolution in the music of the 60s? And, of course, I think the answer is yes. Uh, secondly, did the vibe, the Woodstock Nation, uh, is there, any, um, is there any, uh, anything left of that movement, of the smile on your brother, everybody get together, try and love one another right now? Is the spirit of Woodstock still extant in our modern society? I'm quite ambivalent about that. Uh, if you ask me, uh, Woodstock lives on in Wikipedia. But that's another story. Uh, how, did the, how did the course come to life? I'm a professor of microbiology, but I'm also a professional musician at jazz, and uh, I had this idea of having a course that was interactive, interdisciplinary, um, and part of my philosophy is that if you have a PhD, you're supposed to be able to do research on anything. Uh, so I researched the 60s, I also grew up during that era, and I was able to put together a course that, for example, not only teaches the songs of Dylan and, and, and Leonard Cohen and Paul Simon, but also compares them to one another. And when we talk about the Beatles, we study the lyrics of some of their songs, we listen to the music. During the course, I also teach what a pentatonic scale is and what an octave is. So the students come out with a wide breadth of learning, understanding, and appreciation. Every course has its own Facebook group, and the students, for example, who get very upset that I don't teach enough Hendrix or Creedence Clearwater and so on, are able to uh, post the songs that they love in the Facebook group. That gives everybody a voice. The course is fun. I've given it eight times, uh, and uh, I look forward to giving it many more semesters.